It's Thursday. This is Penny from the Silver and Fit program. Today we are focusing on balance and flexibility. For balance, we're going to be doing movements in all planes of motion, meaning forward, back, side, some rotation. We're going to be going slow, fast, having some pauses where we have to train our bodies to move and then stop just like life. For the flexibility, we're going to be taking our joints through ranges of motion. Think fluidity. We want to be nice and fluid, although we're controlled, we wanna be able to move our body in all different directions versus getting really tight and in line. Today, what you need is a nice safe spot to work out. If you have a play ball, an unweighted ball, grab it, basketball, soccer ball. I personally didn't have that, so here are my home hacks. We just want an object that is light and that you can transfer between your hands. So here are my two home hacks. I found a washcloth so it's smaller and I'll be able to use this as an object or the coveted toilet paper. <laughs> this is perfect. It's soft, it's light. You know, um, hopefully this is a new roll, so it's not gonna unravel all over me. <laughs> but these are two home hacks if you don't have a play ball. A balloon could also work. Okay, so we got our home hacks. Grab a drink of water. I'm gonna get the tunes up and we will get our flexibility and balance on. Remember to drink water at any point during this workout. You can take breaks, do five minutes. We're just happy that you're here. We have 30 minutes on the clock. Let me get my clock going. You can dance a bit. Dancing is so good for fluidity of your joints, right? Move in in all different directions. We are on, let's get that body warm. March it right. Arms are pumping. Remember, if you ever just need to get those feet first, take your hands on your hips. You're also welcome to use light support or to even sit in the chair. We're marching. Hopefully smiling, taking a few deep breaths in. Now I'm gonna turn to the side. We're gonna take a walk forward, and then hold, walk back. Hold it, walk forward, hold, and walk back. It can be really small, just depending upon your space. Let's do that two more times. Walking forward, holding it, walking back, Holding it, right here, keep marching. Take your toes to the side. Pointing them out, point. Getting a little stretch on the front of that lower leg. Add in some arms, push. Her arms are just extra, they're for fun. You have different arms, use them. Very good. March it out, right. Tap your toes to the side. March it out. Tap those toes. March it out. Tap your toes. March it out. Now we're gonna start moving a little bit. Tap your toes. I'm just gonna turn to the side. You see right there. March it forward. Tap your toes side. Easy march back. Toes tap side. Push. Three more rounds. Take it forward. Tap it out. Take it back. I think we're getting warm. Tap it out. March it forward. Tap it out. 
march it back. Tap it out, we've got one more round. Have fun with it. Threaten it up, tapping it out. Take it back. Tap it out. Easy march. Take your feet a little bit wider. Now plant them on the ground. We're gonna do some circles. Sit, circle, open up your chest. Now this could be really small or big. Let's think of strong legs, fluidity through our chest and our shoulders. Ah, does that feel good? Circling back. And release, hands are up. We're gonna tap it over to the side. So we just do a little lean, transferring that weight, which we know, right? Transferring the weight, really good for fall prevention. We transfer weight as we walk, as we do so many daily activities. Feel that first. Now we're gonna stretch up to where it feels good for our shoulders. Opening up your side body, right between your ribs and your hips. Four more. Waking up that body. Now just tap. Take it back to the march. Stay wide. Plant your feet. Do that little squat and circle. Squat, circle. Sit it back. Knees hang out with your toes. If your knees don't like the squat, just do the arm circles. Opening up your chest, a very commonly tight area. Four more. Or we can go one inch. Or if you feel good, you can get a little deeper. Ah, down, belly's in. Feet are planted, one more. Hold it, bring it up, lean in, tap. Reach the arms in front of your chest this time. We're gonna start moving across midline. So right now I'm tapping my toes, reaching out in front of my chest. We're gonna do a little pivot corner to corner. So my whole body is turning. My knees and my hips. Nice, reaching it out. Eight more. You can get a little lower in those legs. If you want a little more, think about the obliques that wrap around your center of that core, firing up. Four more. Now tap, reach front again, reach front. So good. Relax, easy march. Settle in, soften the knees. We're nice and tall, one shoulder at a time, back. Back, again, fluidity. Moving that shoulder girdle, up and open. Ah, oh, how good does that feel? Circle back, maybe taking a look over that shoulder. Two more. Nice, now walk your feet. You're still wide, little bend, let's circle the hips. Knees are soft, fluidity right through that hip region. It could be small circles, it could be big circles. Where does it feel good? What areas need to open? Two more. And pause, go the opposite direction. Circling those hips. Again, small or big, a little bend in the knees. Two more. Hold it. Make sure you're away from your support, hands out. Full body rotations. We're gonna tap the hip and tap. Rotating, moving in the transverse plane. So good, a lot of times, we get really 
limited in our movements. We want to keep these movements so that we can do them with ease. You'll notice knees and hips are pivoting. We are unloading those knees. Four. Getting those bodies nice and warm. Come back better, shake it out. Take a big breath all the way into that belly. Deep diaphragmatic breath. Exhale. Keep those feet moving. Open and close the fingers. Open, close. So good for arthritis if you work at the computer a lot. Circle out your wrists. Circle. Switch directions. And relax. Shake. One more for those fingers. Spider push-ups. If you were a spider and you're doing a push-up, <laughs> this is what it looks like. So you can see. I had a little uh, carpal tunnel after I completed my master's degree. <laughs> These spider push-ups, I'm telling you, they helped. This mobility really helps. Four more spider push-ups. And relax, shake it, grab a drink. Your body's warm. We're gonna work into some more exercises. So grab a drink and then grab your play ball toilet paper, washcloth. I'm gonna use the toilet paper <laughs> to start. We're gonna take the feet apart and we're gonna think about that weight shift, side to side. You can shake those hips a little bit, always with control, right? We don't wanna lose that shake. Now we got the toilet paper, we're gonna to toss it. Opening, closing the fingers. Feeling that weight shift. Now we got a little dynamic movement going on with whatever object we're lightly tossing. And again, it should be unweighted. Something soft, if it fell to the ground, not gonna hurt ya. Feeling that weight shift, alternating, lifting the heel up. If you drop the toilet paper or your ball, picking it up is part of your exercise today. Two more. Now hold it. Add a little bit of pressure. Lift your knees up. Squeeze. 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 Now we can keep our object right in front of our belly button, or we can add a little arc. Thinking about your core. Exhaling. A lot of balance is happening here too. Maybe it's a tap. Right? It could look like this, or it could look like squeeze. Chest stays nice and tall. See if you can exhale as everything comes together. Inhale, feel that balance. Four more, working that front belly, and your balance. So control. Squeeze. Again, keeping that range of motion. If you can bring it overhead, go for it. If that bothers your shoulders, limit it. We wanna feel good. Shake it out, shake. Okay, we're gonna come a little wider. One more round with the toss. Let's start right here. Get those feet first. Heels lift. We're gonna add in that little dynamic you could keep your hands really close together. We could keep them a little further out. Because in life, we hold things, right? We're doing all kinds of things at once, which require our core control, our balance, and our whole body working together. An integrated unit. Four more. Feeling that shift. Two more.
Now hold it. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see again. We're gonna start it small or big. We're thinking of the core, nice and controlled. Tap, tap, squeezing my belly. Maybe it's a little bigger. Squeeze, squeeze. You're looking ahead. Using that breath. Feeling the area between your hips and your ribs tightening. Squeeze. All of our movement comes from the core. This is really important. Squeeze. Feel that balance. Four more singles. And relax. Walk over, put your object down. Now we're gonna become behind your support. So we're behind your support. Let's take your right leg back. Hip is forward. Now right here, I'm gonna just come right here, squeeze my bum, take my hip forward. Back and squeeze. So when I squeeze my bum, I open up the front side. Back, squeeze. And if you feel good without that support, no need for it, right? Now stretch. Opening up that hip flexor. Nice. Four more. Fluid breath. Three. One more. Nice, step in. We're gonna take that same right leg. I'm gonna turn to the side. Think of an H. We're gonna draw an eight with that leg. Draw an eight. It could be really small. It could be bigger. What feels good for your hip? Moving at your perfect pace, maybe. Pulling in that belly and balancing. So again, drawing an eight with your foot. The more you balance, the more that that left leg that's grounded kicks in. Think of the belly. Making those eights. Four more. And relax, shake it out. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna be focusing on that right leg. Take it forward. You're nice and tall, you got that support. We're gonna hinge down, feel the back opening, and then hinge up. How good does that feel? Hinge down, and hinge up. So we're only hinging where we have some nice opening of your calf and your hamstring. Maybe we're supporting, and then coming up, opening the chest. Two more times. Lots of control. Ah. And relax it out. Using that chair for support, just do a little march or the hands are going. Four. Three. Two. Take it slow. Lift. Feel your balance. Four, three, two, march it out. Doesn't matter which foot is marching. So we got slow. We're gonna try those fast feet. So we're just starting to go a little faster. We stay closer to the ground. Arms get smaller and faster. In life, we move in all different speeds. So we are tall bellies in. Going fast, yes? Four more, you wanna get there, it's small and fast? Slow it down, lift, lift. Maybe using that support or not. 
Whatever you want with those arms, opposition normally is helpful. Pick it up, fast feet, fast. Arms moving. Four more. We're gonna cut that down. Take it slow. Four, three, two, take it fast. You ready to cut it down again? This is gonna be a challenge. Take it slow for two. Take it fast. Slow. Fast. Two more times. Take it slow. Fast. Slow. Fast. And relax. Grab a drink of water. We're going to get our object. Play ball. Any kind of unweighted ball, toilet paper, washcloth. I'm gonna grab my washcloth this time. And I'm just gonna pretend it's a ball. Now thinking about fluidity, range of motion, we're gonna start right here with the feet grounded, hips controlled, make an eight with your shoulders only. See if you can feel your waist kick in, your belly. It really helps to have an object so something between those hands. Legs are still. Crossing that eight right in the middle, or you can think of maybe rowing, right? Rowing. Side to side, nice and dynamic. Looking good. Now hold it. You could hold your chair here. We're gonna ground your left foot tiptoe you're right, you could hold the chair. If you're feeling confident, you could keep that tiptoe down. Let's try to add that figure eight to one leg balance. Or a tiptoe, or maybe it's just one arm and you're holding the chair. So many options. Kick what's best for you. Let's try four more. Two more. Last round. And relax, shake it out, good work. Now take your object, we're gonna pass it. We're gonna open and pass. Open and pass. Open, expand your chest. Nice. Again, range of motion through the shoulders. Our chest gets so tight when we slump and we sit. Four more. Now stay right there. We're gonna go around the world. Pass the object. You can go nice and slow, or you can start picking it up. You see why we've got a washcloth, right? Woo! <laughs> if you drop it, just squat down, use those powerful legs and pick it up. Pause, other direction. Around that back. And again, if this doesn't feel good, you just take any part of the motion that does. Four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, grab some water, keep moving. I'm just gonna turn my chair to the opposite side. We've got our object, right? Shift. Get that water, we'll be right here. Right here waiting, shift. A little throw and catch. Woo. <laughs> you open up that washcloth, woo, it really gets more dynamic, right? <laughs> you get that reaction time kicking in a little more. Also good for fall prevention, how we react, right? Now hold it, 
Get nice and wide, hold your towel. We're gonna do a little squat. Squat, throw, catch. Squat, throw, catch. Oh, I've got the wind on top of everything. <laughs> so good. That dynamic movement. I'm actually kind of liking this washcloth. <laughs> you know, we gotta get out of our comfort zones. We're used to using those play balls. You get a different object, do things a little differently. Works out pretty good sometimes. Squat, feet grounded, belly in. Strong legs. Last two. Maybe a challenge a little higher. Woo! <laughs> and relax, place it down. Come by your support. Let's take our left leg back this time. Let's think hip flexor. Push it forward and back. Squeeze the glute. It will naturally open that front side where I put my hand in the pocket. Another area that gets really tight when we sit a lot. Squeezing, maybe adding in that reach and down. Maybe it's both arms, up. Feeling that balance. few more. Opening that hip flexor. Belly's tight. Lots of focus. Lots of control. Two more. One more. And release. Shake it out. We're going to take that outside leg, left leg. Let's make some figure eight. Make some eight. They could be really small. Ooh. Or they could be bigger. Maybe you're just throwing them with your ankle. We're lightly holding that support or not using it at all. Maybe using it a little and then taking that hand up. We're all different. Every day is different with our balance. It really is. Couple more. Moving at your perfect pace. No one else's. Ah, are we feeling that right leg kicking in? <laughs> I know, right? It does a lot of stabilizing work. That's what we mean by stabilizing. Feeling that gluteus medius. And relax, shake it out. Now let's take that left leg, toe up, take that bow. Take the bow, oh, to where it feels good, and then come up tall. Take the bow. Lead with your chest. Your spine is the same right here as when you take that bow with the hip hinge. Maybe coming up, opening the chest, supporting, coming up, opening, supporting. Could you do this seated in a chair 100% all of this? Few more. Sit it back. You have a little more opening. Take it. Last one, like you're moving through water. Release, march it out. Good, let's go ahead, grab, come around, remember to use good lifting. Face it, bend the knees, belly in. <laughs> grab your object, I'm gonna stick with the washcloth. So we're going to start feet shoulder width apart, just our arms, make a figure eight, feel your waist, think of that acceleration, down, down, fluid breath, always, last four,
and relax. Now let's take the weight into that right leg. Tiptoe the left, and maybe we're gonna use one arm to make that eight with the toe down. Remember, lots of options here. Or maybe we have the toe down and we're using both of our arms. Maybe we're gonna lift that toe up. A lot going on right here. We're causing a little chaos in our one foot balance. Four, three, two, one. Relax, take the feet out. Let's pass our object. Open that chest. So nice. Four more. Last round. Now hold it. Shake it out. Ready for a little fun with this one? I'll stay to the side if you hear or see. Around your body. Now remember you can start picking this up, going a little faster or a little slower. Last four. Pause the center, go the opposite direction. Torso's tight, legs are strong. Getting that finger, shoulder mobility. Two more. And relax, shake it out. Okay, one more set of the squat and throw. Find where you feel comfortable, ground the feet. Little sit, stand, throw, catch. I'm so glad I didn't drop my toilet paper. <laughs> we need that toilet paper, right? Please turn Arizona. I have not found any. Luckily, my family took care of me. Otherwise, this household would have no toilet paper. Ah, like I said, there's always ways to get creative though. Resilience, right? That ability to make it through difficult things. And sometimes that means we get frustrated, right? We're like, maybe we're dropping whatever we're throwing every time. Or what they say is if you don't fail, you're not trying hard enough. So I look at failure as a really good thing. Getting out of that comfort zone, trying new things. It's not always rainbows and unicorns. However, when we get to the other side of those new things, there's always gold. Ooh, one more. <laughs> ah, relax. Grab a drink. It's over here. You gotta find it first, right? <laughs> Cheers. We've been opening thing. Let's do just a little bit of a hold. Let's start with the calf. Take one foot back, heels down. Just feel the back of your lower leg opening. Let your breath calm. So again, today, for balance and flexibility, there's a lot of different ways to do this class. So we worked on a little reaction time, slow and fast. Disconnected. Oh, it disconnected, it's talking to me. All of these things, so good. And it does take brain fitness for this. When we're doing these integrated movements, definitely involves our brain. Switch. Again, taking this where you feel nice opening, maybe glancing down and checking that your toes straight forward. 
practicing mindfulness, maybe noticing the bird sounds from my backyard. And then step in, roll the shoulders up and back. So that's one piece of gold from filming and teaching out here in my backyard is I never noticed the birds before one at a time and it's so wonderful just to come out here and listen to the birds so that is something from this experience of getting out of a studio teaching coming into my backyard that I'm going to take with me moving forward it's just coming out spending some quiet time feeling the wind enjoying nature and listening to those birds. Palms down, take ear to shoulder. Roll your chin to your chest. And then the other ear to the shoulder and just do that a few times, just to the front. Nice, slow and controlled. Even yourself out, come up. Take a big breath into that belly, big breath in, big exhale. Tell yourself, awesome job. Remember, for the balance, some days we've got it. We can stand on one foot, sing, talk. Other days, we're a little wobbly. Use support when you need it. There's no harm in that. And just meet yourself where you're at, right? Every day we're in a different spot. And as long as we get up and we do something, that is enough. I hope to see you tomorrow, Friday, for our mixer. It's where I mix up all of your favorite moves from the week, and I may or may not wear fun pants. <laughs> if you wear fun pants, please post them. We love seeing your fun pants. Till Fun Friday. It's Penny from Silver and Fit. Please drink some more water and have a wonderful rest of your day.